Hey and welcome back to the channel. So I've got an exciting video coming for you today. I'm going to talk about three mistakes that mountain bikers really commonly make. But before I talk about those things, I want to talk about a slight change that I'm going to make to the channel, which I think you'll really like. So when me and Ben, my videographer, started this channel about three months ago, something like that, I set the ambitious goal of doing two videos a week, every week. Now, we actually film at the moment one day a month, and we're finding that trying to do eight videos like in one day, we're trying to go next to the next to the next to the next so you can't kind of keep up that same quality and the videos are feeling that little bit rushed so what we've decided to do is keep the exact same amount of filming the exact same amount of editing each month but we're going to do four videos a month so one video a week instead of trying to do two videos a week and what that's going to allow is just to get the content uh, quality that bit higher and just make it that bit more manageable so when we're out here filming like today for example we've got time to really figure out the best way to do the videos the best shots to do etc so this is where you can help if you don't mind what I'd absolutely love from you is if you could just leave a comment and let me know the types of videos you'd like to see any video ideas you've got for me if you've got specific problems on the bike or off the bike that you'd like me to tackle because anything like that any kind of feedback is really helpful for me and Ben because we can just tailor the channel to really suit you so I'm going to get on to the three mistakes now. I hope you really enjoy the video. Before I do that, leave that comment and make sure you like and subscribe as well. Thanks so much. So mistake number one, and this ties in really, really well to what I was just chatting to you about with the YouTube channel. And a lot of riders and people in general, to be honest, make the mistake. And then it's go through the mo they go through the motions of planning the absolute best training program. They plan the perfect diet and plan how many calories they're going to eat, they plan the perfect ride and they spend ages researching, planning, writing things down in the diary but they don't actually go out and start the plan, they don't go to the gym and start training, they don't, they, they'll plan to be able to ride 50 miles and they'll plan to ride an extra two miles every week but then they don't go and do it and they don't get started and what will happen is that people just spend so long thinking and planning and deciding what they're going to do but they never get to the actual step of starting. Now just like with the YouTube channel, in my opinion it's always best to start and get going and then figure out what you need to change on the go. So you may start and decide that you want to do six training sessions a week and when you get into that, after three weeks where you've only managed four sessions a week, you may think, you know what, six is a little bit ambitious, maybe I need to tailor my plans and do four sessions a week instead, but at least you've started and you've gone at it. The worst thing to do is chat about, I need to do six sessions a week, but I can't do six sessions a week this week, I'm too busy, so I'll start next week. And then next week will come and you'll be too busy that week, so you'll start the next week. So it's that same thing with training, with nutrition, you'll wait to be able to have the perfect eating week and you won't start this week, you've got a couple of meals out or you're on the road a couple of days. With anything you want to do, on the bike, off the bike, you need to get stuck into it now and start it now and then as you move forward you can adjust, you can change, you can adapt, you can go from two videos a week to one video a week, you can tweak it but just get started, it's the biggest mistake you always see people talking but not actually getting going. Mistake number two that you see mountain bikers make all the time and especially newer mountain bikers is staying too stiff on the bike. So performance on the bike comes when you can relax on the bike and you can relax your arms and drop your heels and just let the bike move around from you. You'll see it all the time when riders are far too stiff on the bike. It just makes everything much harder. You can probably see some of the clips that I'm putting in over this. When you're riding a downhill, if your arms and your legs are locked out, you'll just bounce off everything and feel so uncomfortable. Likewise, if you're trying to ride uphill as well and you're too stiff, you're too tight on the bike, then you'll just end up hitting rocks and bouncing off them rather than flowing over the rocks and being able to be really smooth. So mistake number two that you see really, really regularly on the trail is being far too stiff on the bike. You want to try and relax. Mistake number three that you'll often see riders making, and I go on about this all of the time, is not eating enough whilst they ride. So when you ride, you're burning energy, you're using glycogen, which is carbohydrate, essentially sugar in your muscle. You're using that for fuel, to fuel your muscle, to fuel your brain, to give you the energy. And over time, those energy levels start to go down. If you're doing any kind of ride over an hour or an hour and a half, you really need to be eating on a regular basis while you're out on the bike. Every 30 to 40 minutes, make sure you get something in. And what that'll do is it'll just keep your energy levels high, it'll stop your blood sugar levels from crashing, and it'll just really, really, really help you performance so while you're out on the bike for anything I'd say over an hour make sure you eat on a regular basis because your energy levels will be so much better if you do and you'll avoid yourself going through those crashes 
and those real dips in energy which just suck to be honest when you're out riding. I do actually have a nutrition guide which you can grab a copy of for a really low price on the MTB Fitness website. There's a link in the description, it's called Stupidly Simple Nutrition for Mountain Bikers and I wrote it specifically to teach mountain bikers like you exactly what to eat both on and off the bike. So follow the link in the description or just type in MTB Fitness into the Google machine and you'll see it on there. Now that's the end of these three mistakes. The first one, not starting and just planning and deliberating for far too long. Number two was being far too stiff on the bike and not being able to relax. And number three was not eating whilst you're out riding. It makes a massive difference. I hope you really enjoyed these three mistakes. Please remember to leave a comment and let me know what future videos you'd like to see. And I'll see you next time for another MTB Fitness video.